Hi everyone! So, along with this video, I decided to start a blog series so that any information I give you in my videos, you can also access the written version there. You can visit my blog at margaritanikita.com and I also copy the link in this video description. This is something brand new, so if you find it useful, please leave a comment so that I can decide if I should continue the blog or not. Lighting in 3ds Max follows the same rules as lighting in real life. In this video, we will describe how you can set up the natural lighting in your scenes using V-Ray Sun and the V-Ray Dome Light. Open the file naturallight.max, you can find the link to download it in this video description. Let's produce a render to see what we get. So, we get a dark render and the scene gets only illuminated from our background image. That's because for my background I have assigned a V-Ray light material, so it's a material that is illuminated, casts light. If we didn't have the background, let's select it and delete it, then our viewport would render black. And this happens because at this point there are no lighting sources in the scene. So, in order to produce a render, we need to have at least one light source in the scene. Let me undo one step to retrieve the background. To create a V-Ray Sun, go to the Command Panel, click on the Create tab and then choose Lights. Click on the Photometric drop-down list and select V-Ray. Then click on V-Ray Sun. Go to the top view, click and drag to place the sun and where you will leave it, the sun target is placed. In the V-Ray Sun window, select Yes. This way, V-Ray automatically places an environment V-Ray Sky. V-Ray Sky works together with V-Ray Sun and they simulate real-life lighting. So, by changing the position of the sun, the sky also changes. Anything we create in 3ds Max is placed at height 0. So, if we go to the front view and check where V-Ray Sun is, we will see that it is at the same level as the floor. So, the next step is to elevate it. Enable the Select and Move command, select the Sun and click on the Y-axis the green arrow. Drag it higher at approximately 400 cm. When moving an object, we can check the coordinate display area in the status bar or type there directly the desired value. Since we now have a light source in the scene, we can produce a render. Now we can clearly see the interior. What you need to be careful of is that when you use planes boxes to apply your view, as I have done in this case, then those planes might block the sun from entering accurately. So what I always do is to select the sun, go to its properties in the Modify tab, go to the Options rollout and click on the Exclude button. On the left list, you see all the layers objects of the scene. Select the background and move it to the right list. This is now excluded from the sun, which means that the sun will act like it doesn't exist. Let's render one more time. So now we are sure that the sun enters the room without any obstacles. I recently uploaded a video on how to use V-Ray Frame Buffer and the layers, so I won't explain anything here. I will just go and add the exposure layer to adjust the highlight bend value. As we mentioned at the beginning of this video, V-Ray simulates how sun works in real life, which means that the higher we place the sun, the stronger the light will be and whiter, while the lower the sun, the softer the light and warmer. Let's apply all these in our exercise. Let's save this render in history, make sure here it says effects result 
and rename it to age 400 cm. Enable the Select and Move command and select the V-Ray Sun. Go to the Z field at the coordinates of the status bar and type 800 cm. Let's render. So, what we see now is that apart from the shadows that change direction, the sun got stronger and whiter. Moreover, the shadows got sharper. Let's save it in history and compare it to the previous render. Let's now move the sun position at Z 180 cm and produce a new render. The interior gets darker and the sunlight gets warmer and more subtle. As before, I will save it in history. If you want to increase or decrease the intensity of the sunlight, go to the Sun Parameters rollout and play with the Intensity Multiplier. Don't forget to use the Exposure layer to adjust your render if needed. If we want the shadows to blend more and not be defined, we can go to the size multiplier in the sun parameters rollout and increase the size value. The default is 1, let's try 7 and render. Now you see how smooth they are and how well they blend, they are not sharp anymore. So this is how we use V-Ray Sun and now let's explore the V-Ray Dome Light. First, let's disable the V-Ray Sun, so select it, go to its properties and in the Sun Parameters rollout uncheck the Enabled field. If we produce a render, we will see that our interior still gets some light. This happens because, if you recall, when we created the V-Ray Sun, we also created the V-Ray Sky, and V-Ray Sky reinforces the lighting of the scene. So, let's cancel the render and go to the menu Rendering, Environment, and in the Commons parameter Rollout, you can see here the V-Ray Sky. Right-click on it and select Clear to delete it. Let's do one more render. Now the scene is much darker and the only light is casted by our background image. For now, let's also select the background and hide it. So select it, right click and choose Hide Selection. Let's do one more render. And now everything is black since there is not a single light source in our scene. To create a V-Ray Dome light, go to the Command Panel, click on the Create tab, choose Lights, V-Ray, V-Ray Light. Go to the General Rollout and from the Type, click on Plane and choose Dome. Go to the Top View and click to place the Dome light. It doesn't make a difference where you will place it, whether it's here, here or here, the result will be the same. Let's do a render. So now we can see our interior. To brighten it up, select the dome light, go to its properties and increase the multiplier. Instead of 1, let's type 10 and render. So what's mainly the difference between using a V-Ray Sun and a V-Ray Dome light? When we used the V-Ray Sun, we had more defined shadows we could select where the sun would be and where its target would be, and so the sunlight had a specific direction. 
When we use a dome light, we basically set a diffuse light in the scene. The furniture casts shadows, but we don't have this directional light and shadows from the sun. Now, when we use the V-ray dome light, we can use it in combination with an HDRI. What is an HDRI image? An HDRI is a 360 photo that contains a large amount of data which can be used to emit light into a scene. You can find many HDRIs on the web. A website I could suggest to you that offers free HDRIs is hdriheaven.com. Let's visit it together now to download an HDRI to test it in our scene. Let's click on this one and I will download the 4K resolution. Go back to our 3DS Max scene. To load an HDRI, go to your dome light parameters and to the general rollout and click on the No Map button over here. Choose Maps, V-Ray, V-Ray Bitmap. And uh, one comment here, if you have previous version, a previous version of V-Ray, then you need to choose V-Ray HDRI. If you have V-Ray 5, then choose V-Ray Bitmap. Click OK and choose the HDRI we downloaded. Let's render. So now we have a view outside our window, the view that was seen in the HDRI preview, and we also have sunlight and shadows casted from the HDRI in our scene. How can we see the HDRI outside our windows? First off, click on the default setting button next to the viewport's name, go to viewport background, and make sure environment background is enabled. Then, go to the menu Rendering, Environment, to the Common Parameters rollout and drag and drop the HDRI in the Environment map. Choose Instance so that any changes we will do will also apply here. So, how can we adjust what we see outside the windows and the direction of the sun and shadows? If uh, I select the V-Ray Dome Light, enable the Select and Rotate command and click on the grey circle and drag the cursor up or down. If I render or outside my window, nothing really changes. I get the same result although I rotated my light by approximately 180 degrees. So, how can we adjust it? Let's take it back to its original state. If we take a close look at the dome light, you see this line, this pointer over here. This one indicates the center of the HDRI image. So, if I also open the HDRI preview, it's like the center of the photo is placed here. Usually, at the center is where also the sun is placed. And this way, it helps us understand where the sun is positioned. To rotate the HDRI and show the position of the sun, we need to open the Material Editor. Drag in the V-Ray HDRI and create an instance. Be careful, if you select Copy, then any changes we will now make won't be transferred here and so the lighting of the scene won't be affected. So be careful to choose Instance. Double click on the very bitmap to see its parameters. So if we want to rotate the HDRI, we will go to the horizontal orientation and play around with this value. You can see real time how our background rotates. So if we make it 50 and render, you can now see how the shadows and lighting changed. Let's try 100 and do one more test. Now we get a different result. To understand where the sun is located, we said that this line indicates the center of the photo and is the zero degrees. 
Here is 90, 180 degrees and 270 degrees. So when we type 50, it's like we move the sun approximately here. Another way to understand where your sun is, is to switch to a perspective view. Scroll around to find the sun. I scroll around holding the Alt key, holding down the cursor and moving the mouse around. So here is the sun at position 0 degrees. And when I type 50, we can see that it moved over here. So if I move the sun at 190 degrees, which is opposite to where my windows are, here is the result we will get. So always check first where the sun is located to understand how it will light up your scene. If we want the render to be brighter, we will go to the processing section and play with the overall multiplier. Let's try 5 and render. Now, if this is an actual project and your client sends you a specific view to place outside the windows, you can still use the V-Ray Dome Light and the HDRI, but then you need to make a plane to put outside the windows to apply your view as a material. Right-click and choose and hide all. What you should never forget is when you make planes to put your view on, to always select your light source, go to the Options rollout and click on the Exclude button and select the plane. This way, it won't block the light from entering. So now we are using the dome light, the HDRI and we have the view we want outside the windows. So in this video, we have seen two options that you can use to naturally light your scene, either using the V-Ray Sun or the V-Ray Dome Light. And regarding the V-Ray Dome Light, you can either use it in its default form and light the scene uniformly or add an HDRI. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in my next video.